Hey YouTube, it's your own boy, Seth McDonough, Seth Martial Art Fitness. Um, our last video was kind of made a rent video. Um, I'm not going to stress about work no more on that topic. Uh, it was April 6th, 2023. Only problem that I had with women online dating is that... They, they always seems to want money and everything else, and it's like they, um, you get an app, you know, once they want, like, let's say you go through a dating site and they you meet them on the app and. But they are so fine looking and everything, they're so hot and everything, sexy and all that, whatever. And the woman's very attractive to you. Well, then you go into downloading the WhatsApp. <coughs> that one loading in the WhatsApp, you know, for her. Uh, turn around. And, uh, you know, having a relationship with her and all that full-time committed relationship. But, then he asked her for her Instagram. And then, you see another dude comment on her pic. And then you see him saying, you know, looking good or whatever. And then... Then all of a sudden, she'll say, okay, love, like that, you know. I know she's probably just doing it just, just to get, like, her ratings up on Instagram and stuff like that. I don't know how that works on there, but um, get the likes and everything. But I, I look at it this way, you know, if... If you're committed in an online relationship, that doesn't mean, like, oh, that'd be like me going to Instagram, you know, looking at these hot models on Instagram, and then, um, commenting on their picture, you know, looking, looking fine, and, or whatever, or something like that, looking nice. Um, or looking hot, whatever. You know, if I would have come with that, um, they would still say dear or whatever, but they know they can't have a relationship with me. Because, one, they're either one, they're either taken. Two, they're a celebrity. Now, if I would have had the money, I would have probably met this one celebrity because I was kind of talking to her online and... I went to her website, started talking to her, and she is, you know, me and her clicked. And she said, if you send me amount, amount, this amount of money, I said, I'll come see you for, like, the weekend. And, which I knew that was a scam. So, right then and there, I didn't want to do the scam, so I backed off from it. And then, um, then I met the other girl in the Philippines. She did the same thing to me. She just is basically, um, online. She, me and her were talking and everything, got to know each other, got to see each other all the time, and... She just kept asking for money. Uh, she kept on asking for her phone. Um, she would never show me to her family. And she swore up and down that she didn't have any family. And which, you know, everybody has family. I don't care who you are. Everybody has family. And I asked her one day when I was dating. I said, are you ashamed of dating? 
and she wouldn't give an answer. So right then and there, I knew that was a red flag. And and then now this one I've been kind of talked to. Um, <laughs> it takes about two or three messages to get through to her. And then it'd be about like five hours later, um, she'll, she'll respond. And it's like, this one, she's been acting weird lately. And, and it's like, I want to re-ask her, you know, say, hey, are you seeing somebody else? You know, but I'm afraid that'll end up causing another argument. And she told me not to let it happen again. And I'm like, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm just not going to sit back and be used either. And I didn't, well, she asked me for money and over the phone the other night. And I, I said, I'll see what I can do. But since I called it, since I went home early Tuesday, due to my allergies, bothering me so bad. Um, she asked me to see if I could send her 65 bucks. And I looked at it, and I just told her, no. I mean, I was just so furious, furious with everything here at work. So I just told her, no, I can't do it. And I just told her the reason why. I said, because I said, um, I would send you a, a lot more last month than what I wanted to, and, and that's what I, and that's what I said, and I, I spoke up and just said no, I said, you just don't show me the respect that I need, I said, you know, you just, um, You just don't reply back as much. And, and I said, you just don't uh, answer my calls. Answer my calls as much. Answer my calls as much. And, and that's the thing, you know. Um, when it comes to being in a relationship, it's not about money. It's about love and commitment. And I proved my love to her so many times. And, but I just feel like, honestly, you know, my heart's telling me, you know, I really don't want to let her go. But, you know, me and her have everything in common. Um, she knows my ups, she knows my downs. Um, and I know hers. And it took me forever. It took me forever to get get everything out of her when she was down one night and she just didn't want to talk about it. She just kept running away from the problem. And so I just got it out of her. And which, you know, and I went to her Instagram, which, you know, I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous of all the other guys. I know I'm commenting on her pick. Um, I know she has guy friends. So, and she knows I have women friends. And... And, that, and that's the thing. It's just that I just don't think she's being honest with me. And everything else. And I just don't know what else to do. Uh, I'm going to get off here. Please hit the like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Hit all the bell. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.